much do you need this time? Put another 300, you'll cover it. Um, 500 would be ideal. But that's all. And then I can get fuzzy wuzzy. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to some more FF7 Rebirth. I'm back in Calm in the Inn, and I just stumbled across this uh, couple who are having the best, the best time. I mean, this guy's enjoying himself. Look, he's got a Tom Berry plush, too. Oh, my God. Incredible. Incredible. Anyway, welcome back, everyone. Yeah. Um, we're doing face cam again. Now, the general consensus was kind of do what you feel is best, mage, but, you know, face cam does make the videos better somehow. Uh, so whenever I can, I'm going to do it. I can't promise it's going to be all the time, but I'll try my best. So what are we going to do today? Well, probably more side stuff. Uh, there is much more to do. We've got a rare card to track down in the clock tower. And speaking of cards, we probably will kick off today's video at playing uh, Ned, who is really the last person we need to play uh, in Calm, or at least in this region. Uh, so we'll give it a go. Off screen, I have been tinkering with the card game, just basically practicing against the people we've already played. And I feel like I understand the basics of it a little bit more now. Uh, I will we'll explain it as we go along, but uh, yeah, I really really love the card game. It's so much fun. And uh, in fact, we can actually buy some card booster packs from the shop. So we might head over there actually uh, before we do play Ned um, or go and track this other card down because I'm guessing we're going to have to play this other guy for it. I'd be very surprised if he's just going to hand it over. Um, and then we've got obviously there's still the side quest for Chloe. Um, and there's also a couple outside of town. We need to go speak to a farmer, I think. Uh, speak to a farmer and also go check out this, um, Mako pipeline. We need to chat to a mercenary or something. So there's lots to do as well as all of the world intel, uh, out and about that we are going to absolutely, I'm going to try at least in this first open world chapter. I'm going to try and do everything, right, before I move on. Uh, as the game goes on, I can't promise I'm going to do everything in other regions. It, it really depends how I feel. So, um, thank you for joining me for another Rebirth episode. God, I just love Calm. It's just so crowded. Like, I don't remember like any towns in FF15 feeling this alive. And 15 had some really nice towns. You know, Altitia was incredible. But, um, this just feels like a little bit, you know, elevated. Look, just a bunch of random kids playing. Um, it's great. Also, there's a, there's a ladder down. Oh, I guess that's in case you fall in the canal. Oh, hello! <gasps> there's a chest over there! Oh my god, I haven't properly explored Calm yet, apparently. Let's go grab that. The rising star of Calm! Don't miss Akira's homecoming concert. Adored in Wall Market and the world over, his silky smooth voice is sure to stir your soul. Okay. Bit of a bit of a show going on. Hey Calm, how y'all doing today? Yeah, it's me, your boy Akira. Still with Shinner Records, still. It's been a long seven years since I hit the road. And the world hasn't always been kind. But I never lost sight of my guiding light, even when the plate was blocking my view. I always knew that one day, I'd make it big and come back a star. <laughs> that haven't quite yet, but I'm working on it. Hey, you got a bit of a crowd, dude. Even though I left Midgar behind, my journey won't end here. No, sir. It's only just begun. I dedicate this next song to all you guys and gals still finding your way. Gotta walk on. Here we go, is it gonna be a banging tune? Life in the gutter was really wear me down. The stills got hanging above. My heart is aching for love. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and listen to all of it. But that's amazing. What a random little detail. I took it on my heartstrings. Oh, we can hear it a bit louder. 
We need the speakers now. Look at Red! <laughs> Red's enjoying it! Oh, fantastic. Right, let's go grab this chest. Dude, they've just filled this game already. I know I'm only in Chapter 2, right? I'm only in the very beginning. Ooh, headband. Uh, but already, there's just so much going on. Right. Also, I've completely forgotten. I've got the Fire and Ice Materia. I should be using that on someone. Um, also, there's no music right now. Like, none whatsoever. This is slightly awkward. Uh, headband, headband, headband. What does the headband do? It grants immunity to sleep. Aha! That might actually be worth equipping, you know. Hmm. I mean, we haven't really encountered anything that, that have inflicted us with much at the moment. I think we've had sadness or something uh, with the alpha dunks, but uh, I might give that to someone. I don't know who. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. This is the problem. We've only got one accessory slot. We'll give it, we'll give it to Cloud for now. I know, I know the power of risk guards are good and all, and we're going to lose some, some, uh, strength and attack. Not much, not much. So we'll, you know, immune to sleep. No, no, Cloud is now an insomniac. Um, yeah, Materia, quickly. Wait, 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 wait. I need, I need some tunes, man. What? <laughs> Cloud was getting in on it. What the frick? That was so random. Acura. And speaking of Acura, I can't believe uh, Acura, or I always, always just pronounce it Akira, but it's probably wrong. Uh, Toriyama passed away. So gutted. So gutted. Like, genuinely upset me, that. Um, actually did a Dragon Quest stream the other day to in honour of him. Uh, thanks to all those who turned up for that. Right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Uh, materia. Yeah, I need, to, I need to equip that Fire and Ice Materia on someone. Because, you know, it's just going to waste. Cloud, you've got... fire on you. So you know what? We'll give you the fire and ice instead. Wherever it is. I swear I got it. Did I not actually get it from Chadley? Did I not actually get it from Chadley? I think he's in calm, so we'll go have a chat with him and get that, because we've got quite a lot of data uh, points to spend anyway. So we'll do that. We'll go buy some cards and... I see you we'll beat Ned. Back to calm. Yeah. This town's bucolic atmosphere and charming architecture have made it a popular retirement destination for former Shinra employees. Oh. And now that I am here, it is not difficult to see why. It's lovely, isn't it, Chadley? It's bloody lovely, this place. And I love how we're really learning more about the world. In the original, you know, if you spoke to NPCs, you probably would pick up certain things, and you did. But I feel like they've gone the extra, the extra mile again. Uh, develop materia. Yeah, fire and ice. I didn't actually buy it, so... 10 points. Boom. There we go. Uh, not too fussed about any of this stuff yet, just because we don't have many slots yet, really. Uh, but I'm sure some of this stuff is good. But fire and ice. Sounds By very way, nice. Cloud, oh. Have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto-relic I mentioned before? Um, if not, don't worry. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. Yeah, we got anyway, we got cards to play, man. We got all sorts of shit to do. Uh, like equipping this materia. I keep on pressing the touchpad. Materia, cloud, get that fire and ice on you right now, my buddy. Uh, I might actually swap Tifa's fire over to. Well, then again, Tifa's got fire and ice already. I could just. No, we'll give Cloud Fire and Ice. Give Cloud Fire and Ice. I'm just thinking Tifa's fire material isn't as leveled, so I might just swap that for what Cloud just had. There we go. Because that's nearly leveled up. We're nearly getting some level 2 uh, material already. So that's awesome. Right, also, card deck. Now, we do have some new cards, don't we? So, well, we'll worry, actually, we'll worry about this once we've bought some. Because I think we are going to go buy some... 
some booster packs, which is just brings me back to buying booster packs and Pokemon cards from Toys R Us back in the day. It's bloody great, isn't it? Right, how do I get to this shop? Just look how crowded this is. It's just... It's not the biggest town in the world. Um, this isn't the right way. But it's just so dense. I'm gonna be a soldier! Let's run. I think it's just to take a left here. Yep. Here we go. Just, just look! It's like a real town! A lot of, a lot of hustle and bustle. Where's the... Ah, here we go. Hello. And welcome to my humble shop. I like the and there's so many like posters. I've been walking around just reading all these random posters. And there's so much, so much been put into this. Right, I would like to buy. Ah, yes, booster packs. So, five hundred a pop. We've got plenty of gill. Yeah, we'll buy both of those. Just because I, I am really, really liking the card game. Problem is, now we've got a lot of cards to fit into our deck. Ooh, Quetzalcoatl. Or Quetzalcoatl. I've never known how to properly say that. Zoo. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Oops, sorry, Red. Dee, 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 dee. How many people have we, like, sliced just brush <laughs> brushing past him with this massive fuck-off sword? Right, let's edit our deck. Uh, if I said that with a New Zealand accent, you might think I was saying something else. Uh, it just reminds me of that. You see that? You've seen, you've seen the videos, right? The, 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 <laughs> the d dick sealant. <laughs> I've had all the keys around on my dick. Uh, I'm referencing a video. Anyway, let's edit our deck. I don't know what we're going to put in it, but... Um, you can now own a card that can lower the power or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it is destroyed and the position is... Ah, no, this is... Yeah, this is where it's going to get more complicated. Also, cards whose abilities activate only when they are destroyed or enfeebled. Therefore, sometimes it benefits you to use enfeeblement abilities on your own cards rather than your opponents. Oh, God. Oh, we're getting into some advanced techniques already. I'm barely just grasping the basics right now. Um, pretty much what I've gathered is more spaces that you can put your cards good, more spaces the enemy can put them bad, um, and you don't always have to win every row. Like, if you just win one row by a fuck ton, you can still overall win, because it's really just down to numbers. So, a lot of, a lot of depth to this. Oh, we got a flan. Excellent. Where's Quetzalcoatl? There's Zoo. Ooh, Quetzalcoatl, look at you. You're only a rank two. I would have thought you'd be a rank three. Because uh, we've got, yeah, a couple of... A few rank threes. Um, I'm going to get rid of the... Yeah, these... These bees, and I think someone in the comments as well. I'm sorry, sorry I'm forgetting people's names. There's been quite a few comments. Uh, the way that the, like, layout is... Like, if you, you... You've got to put them, like, either bottom or top in order to affect any other tiles. Like, they're not... I'm not the biggest fan of them. So, we'll get rid of those. No, thank you. We do. We we want a good selection of ones. Um. So we've got two soldiers, two wolves, Cactuar. Um. So we got we got a good selection of ones there. Let's go for. Let's put. Ooh, a zoo. That actually looks interesting. Put that. Put Quetzalcoatl. Um and. A oh, I've already got full. I could remove. I'll get rid of. Nah, the Alpha Dunks have got so much power though. I don't want to get rid of those. Magic Pot. Am I ever really gonna use that? I mean, it is my only rank three currently on the. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that anyway, and I'm gonna put on a Screamer because the tiles that they affect is massive. But again. It's hard, it's quite hard to get a rank 3, I find anyway. Uh, let's get rid of a... Get rid of a, one of the sweeper things. Or J-Unit sweeper. And we'll pop on... Now, I'm not even looking at abilities right now. I'm, I'm not even looking at abilities right now, we're just... 
choosing what I think looks cool. Um, details. No abilities. No abilities. Raise power. No abilities. No abilities. None of my cards have abilities. Very few do. Uh, I thought I thought it said I had. Oh, here we go. When play, lower the power of the allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Damn, that Toxerat. That might be worth. That might be worth adding to my deck actually. But again, I can only have so many. So we'll get rid of. Um, I don't want to get rid of too many ones though. We'll get rid of one of the Mews. And we'll put a Toxerat in. Now, of course, it's still a little bit of RNG as to which cards get pulled out of your deck. So, but that I think that's a pretty good one. I think we'll we'll we'll, we'll challenge Ned with that. I'm feeling pretty. Well, I'm not feeling confident because again, I, I, I'm very new. I'm still, I'm learning. Everyone loves a good revenge tale. Mm. Cloud's on one of his own. Right, where am I going? Where's Ned? Where's Neddy Weddy? I think he's over here. I should just go up and challenge someone. Yeah. No way. What if they're better than me? Oh, I won't be, mate. You ain't got anything to worry about. So we got a nervous, nervous Neddy over here. <laughs> It's only a card game, mate. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. It is. <laughs> People call me cry baby Ned. I wonder why. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. Why is everyone who plays plays Queen Bud an abs Queen Queen Bud Queen Blood an absolute nutcase? Right, we're gonna play him. Win and you'll rise in rank, so this is an important game, chaps. Okay, we're going with that deck. I'm liking that deck. It's a nice big deck. And let's hope. Let's hope we can do this. Right, starting off, we're gonna we're gonna uh, mulligan that three rank, because yeah, we're not gonna Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. That sucks. Uh that's unfortunate. Right, we start off with Soldier. Let's start off with the Soldier. Boom. Yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this card game, even if I do kind of suck at it. Okay, right. Well, you know what? Let's pop another Soldier down. Okay. So he's got... He's popped an Alpha Dunk there. So at the moment, he's winning uh, row middle. Uh, diddly diddly dee. Could put a. Levacron down. Yep. I'm not going to worry about the other rows just yet. We'll see what he does. What are you going to do, Neddy? Ooh, okay. Okay, right. So, really, I need to put something on that top row. Ideally. Uh. Yes. Oh, and that give me a plus three on that one there. Yeah. Good idea, mage. Good idea. All right, that's actually fine. Yeah, so he's using one of those bees, and they're crap. They really don't affect anything. Right. Let's do uh, a number two, I think. Do I want to... I uh, see. If I pop that there, that Toxerat really isn't going to do shit. Oh, I can't put it there anyway. I could put it there, but no. I don't think that... We need more cards for the Toxerat to be really effective. Let's pop... I mean, I really want... Yeah, put a wolf there. Oh, that's a five now. Oh, that's a five. 
Right, so at the moment... At the moment, we want... We definitely... I mean, I think we've got this. I think we've got this, because... They can't really do much else. They can put one more card down, and that's it. Unless they delete any of ours, but they haven't. So... Six and five. Oh yeah, we should we should have this in the bag, mate. Let's pop you there. Put another alpha dunk on the top. Yeah, we've we've got this. We've got this. Do do do. And put a. Uh, oh, I can only put a one down. I can only put one down, so that's it. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Absolutely smashed him. Nice. I love this card game. And we got a Crystalline Crab. Oh, with an interesting layout. And it's another one. Excellent. Another rank one, I should say. Oh, God. I love it. I feel a lot better after having a good ride. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Damn. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. <laughs> Sometimes a good cry does feel good, doesn't it? Right. There we go. So we are now a higher rank. I don't know if that means we can now play other people, but I don't think there's many around. So, do we go straight to the clock tower and try and do this Virgil quest? I mean, we are in calm. We might... we might as well. I know it's going to start off quite card-heavy in this episode, but, um... Yeah, like I say, it's just... it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Let's go up to the clock tower. Past the, uh, the street musicians. With the sacks of my phone. Right, I'm guessing he's up top, is he? No, Cloud! I knew he was going to do that as well. As soon as I saw that pole, I was like, he's going to run into that. Well, do you know it? I'll tell you what, you get fit running up and down these stairs every day, won't you? Right, where is the bastard? Oh wait, no, he's below us. Is there a... Wait... Where is this quest? Track down... Where is it? Is he below us? Is there a balcony or something? I don't know where he is. I thought he was at the... Maybe he's outside the clock tower and I just ran past him. I probably did. I probably did just run past him. Hi guys. Love the Barrett and T for just chilling. Yeah, he's he's round here. Oh, there we go. All right, mate. Ooh, are you a guard? Oh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. He did win it fair and square. So Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning. I'm not a pushover like some folks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I'm guessing this two number is their rank, right? And we've just beaten Ned, who I think was like rank three? I don't know. I think we can take this guy. I'm not scared of you. You and your fancy uniform. And uh, I'm just going to stick with that deck. Probably should add to that thing we just got, but... Oh, I'm dead hype as well. I've, I've ordered myself. Uh, and it's going to come in about an hour. Nice big sausage balm. Oh, with hash browns. Oh, it's going oh, to be so good. Right. Uh, let's... Uh, there's a lot of twos there. I probably don't want those just yet. Uh, the flan's got an interesting one because it's going backwards. I'd rather another soldier. I'm going to... Uh, I mean, else, yeah, the zoo is good. Let's get rid of the Toxa Rat for now. And actually do it this time. There we go. 
Alright, give me another... Right, we've got a character well, that's fine. So, again, start off with the soldier. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? Okay, starts off with a wolf. Uh, so, I mean, I could pop an alpha dunk down as well. Or, or, or a zoo. But I'd rather do that in the middle, to be honest. So again, do I just forge ahead and try and get some spaces uh, covered? Because it's kind of just, you fight them back, don't you? you you're pushing them back. Okay. Oh, he's got a four. He's got a four now. Uh, let's do... I might... The wolf. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, what card's that? What is that? It's four. Damn. Okay. Uh, could put a flanny wanny there. Don't really need to. I'd say probably... No, I can't put that there. I forgot. Ah, damn it. I've only got one one card, so... If I put... Ah, oh, damn it. No, that's... This is the... Pr oh, man. I think I'm gonna have to... Oh, that's a good move there. Oh, yeah. Bit of, bit of flan action. Flantastic. Okay, okay. I really need to start putting some on the bottom row there. Hmm. Uh, really do. There's the Toxerac coming out. Again, that's rank two though. I need. I should really fill out my deck with more one cards. Right. I'm gonna try. Put you there. Just makes a nice. Makes a nice barrier. Yeah, this is the problem. He's gonna... He's kind of trouncing me. I need to win the top row by a lot. Or... I could put, I could put this down. Ah, but you see, with the layout... Mm, it's better off in the middle, the Toxerat. Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. Not ideal. Not the best. Right, he can't put any more cards down, so... I'm winning the middle one by two, but he's winning the bottom one by four. I'm drawing the top one, so... Quetzalcoatl... I don't have any one cards. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So I need to make... Ah, oh, shit. Uh, this is, I, th oh, we're in trouble here. We might just, right, so if I put that there, we're going to win. Unless we, I, I'm hoping I draw one card after this. Hoping I draw one card. Or do I just, actually, just for the extra points, put the alpha dunk. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we did get a one card. Nice, okay. So... That means we win that one by six, two, six, eight. Yeah, yeah, we've won. We've won. We've won. Can't put any cards down. Nope. Oh yeah, sorry. No, it doesn't. T no, it's it's not the difference. My bad. It's just yeah. Right. Easy. Easy. I'm I'm getting it slowly. Close. Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Bash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? I don't know. Oh crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. 
So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. Oh! He runs this card shop outside of town. Oh! Maybe check with him? Right, we can a go there now. job is never done. Am I right? It really isn't. I knew this quest wouldn't be that quick, because I'm pretty sure if you look on the quest thing, it shows you kind of how many steps there are to it. Yeah, so there was always going to be at least one more. Right, so it looks like we're finally going to Thorin's uh, card shop. Fantastic. Also, I love that Aerith, Red, and Barrett were just standing awkwardly in the background there as we were doing that. Right. Yeah, Virgil has been vanquished. So we will definitely stop by that card shop. I think, actually, for now, this is all we want to do in Calm. I think. Uh, yeah, I think that is. So let's head out into the wild and go to the card shop. I am just going to fast travel there just because we're quite a ways away. Dee 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 dee. Here we go. Back out into the w It's just bloody gorgeous. Right, knock, knock. Aha! Oh, I like his apron. He's got a chessboard apron. Or a queen's blood apron, I should say. Um, is there anything in here that I can borrow before I chat to him? No. Hello! Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that feud. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. Oh boy, lots so, of cards. You game? Lots of cards at the beginning of this episode. Ask what what's Queen's blood? Challenge him to a game, a uh, game, or should we just buy cards from him first to beat him with said cards? Let's have a see what he's got. Uh, oh my God, he's got Titan, who we will try again. We have found one of the things that will make him weaker, but I, I think we'll still find a few more yet yeah, because he was really tough. Fat Chocobo, legendary Queen's blood card that we can just buy for five hundred gil, can we? Um. The thing is, we don't really see what their stats are, so I don't know how good they actually are, but, I mean, they're probably rank 3s, right? I wonder if they're a rank 4s. Um, I've got to buy it. I've got to buy it. I know we don't have all the money in the world right now, but I've got to buy them. Let's, uh... Quickly just edit my deck a second, or at Thank least... You. Check out that card. Uh, edit deck. I mean, I could make a, di a few different decks. Oh my god, it's a five. They're both five powers, and the Titan's only rank two. Ah, oh, but he's got an ability though, hasn't he? When played, raise position ranks by two. <sighs> raise position ranks by two. Oh, is in. He'll add. Oh, that could be a quick way of getting some rank threes, then, couldn't it? I think we've got to add you. We've got to add you to the to the team, buddy. And I'm going to get rid of... Oh, boy. I'm going to get rid of... I mean... Maybe one of them... I'm going to get rid of the Toxerat for now. Just because, yeah, we haven't really had a chance to properly use that. Oh, my God. Look at the effect. Oh, wow. On the Fat Chocobo. Creates a shove fit of positions around it when played. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. I mean, again, though, when are we ever going to really get a chance to use that? Might swap it out for one of... for the Screamer that I've got, though. Yeah, you know what? We'll just have it, just in case we ever get a chance to use it. Could be a waste of a card. Could, could be, with our current deck, but, uh... Yeah. I probably should. I'll probably make a bunch of different decks off screen eventually when we get more cards. But um, For your patronage. let's see if we can beat him. Only one way to get that chocobo and move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, challenge him to a game. <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. 
I, I just love that they've put a card game in a Final Fantasy again. And it's such a good one, too. Right. Chugbo Moogle. Yeah, that'd be a nice one. I mean, I don't know what its ability... It must have a good ability to it, because... It's basically just the same as some of the other ones we've got. But, we want it. Well, saying that, we're just are we just going to give it to the bartender guy? I hope we actually do get that card. We must do. Start the match. Uh, that's actually a pretty solid start, I'd say. That's a pretty solid start. We'll, we'll play with that. And, obviously... Start with the soldier boy, although really, I suppose that is kind of, well, not really a waste, but we're losing one position behind him. I could start with a Levercron, Levercron instead. We'll do that instead, just for a change. Okay. Uh... Let's go for... Soldier there. Oh, okay. Is he going to have a lot of rank 2 cards? I feel like he does. Uh, I'm going to put a Mew there. Oh, we've drawn the fat chocobo. I really need a rank 3. I need a rank 3, goddammit. Eh... Yeah. I should really, again, focus on spaces. Let's just pop you there, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got a shield, dude. Right. Yeah, you can, you can spread yourself a bit too thin if you don't focus on getting... Uh, getting spaces. Uh, getting your ranks built up. Shit. We really don't want him getting on that plus three. Although, although it might just affect my cards and not his. I'm not sure. Uh, crud buckets. Quetzalcoatl. Will you do anything? You'll make that one up there a rank two. Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, I don't have any rank ones. Shit. Right. Can I? This is going to take some strategy that I don't have. We need to put a rank two down. Which one, actually? No. Let's do... Put you there. Oh, shit, is he going to be able to put a rank 3 down and win the middle row? He probably is, isn't he? Unless... No, I can't. I don't... Ah, if only that one was a rank 2 spot. Bastard. This is a problem. I really need more rank 1 cards, I've realized. So I can put this 2 down. Get a plus one on that, I suppose. And then hope we draw some one cards. That's just a one, though. Maybe maybe I should just... Yeah, I'm putting the Alpha Dunk down just for the points. We need to win that top row. Oh, bastard. Bastard, right. We didn't draw one card. Shit. Oh dear. So I feel like I feel like we've lost here. Unless No, we've got to have lost. We need more rank one cards. Okay. If we can, I mean, if we can just win the the top 2, I I mean he's going to put a card down on that rank 1, isn't he? Unless he doesn't get another any rank 1 cards. Oh, which he does. He's doing the Moogle. Bastard. Shit, we've lost. Hmm. 
Yeah, by one. We've lost by one. Oh, so close. This is a great game. We're going to beat him. We are going to beat him. I just need to get maybe better luck with my one card. I mean, I do have a lot of rank twos, don't I? Maybe, yeah, maybe I should edit this deck slightly. It's nice having all the rank two cards, but if you can't use them, what's the point? Uh, we'll get rid of... I mean... We're never going to get a chance to use the Fat Chocobo, are we, at the moment? I'm going to delete the Fat Chocobo. Let's get another... F uh, maybe not another Flan. We'll go for... One of you. One of the crab things. Oh, yeah, we've got Mandragoras as well. forgot about those. Oh, we do have shield guys as well. Crap, yeah, I forgot we bought all these. Ooh. Ooh, I like his uh, affecting thing. Right. Let's do... Let's get rid of one of the Alpha Dunks. Get you in. And ideally... I uh, wouldn't mind putting a Mandragora in as well. Or a... Mm, or another Flan. Such funky music, though, as well. Love it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Get rid of... Mm. I'm going to get rid of quite some... No. I'll get rid of the Mew for now. And we'll put in... Oh, maybe another Levercron would be better, actually. Yeah, it's basically a better... Oh, when played, add Mandragora Minion to your hand. Mandragora Minion? Okay, we need to test that out. I don't know what that does. Right. We'll try again. We'll try again. I'm so sorry to those of you watching this that are like, I don't care about the card game mage, but I do. Uh, let's mulligan... Uh, well... Actually, no. That's pretty solid, but maybe... Uh, for now. No, we'll, we'll keep. We'll keep this. No, maybe the zoo. We'll mulligan the zoo. Alright, we just got all ones. Okay. So that means we can spread ourselves quite far, but... Still gotta be careful. Alright, start with soldier. He done the same. Okay. Uh, we've got a rank two, so let's do. Oh, actually, could make a rank two there. Yeah, let's try that. That might not be the best position to put a zoo, but ideally, you probably want to put it in the middle. Okay. A little Evercron. No more rank twos. Oh, shit, I've fucked... I've fucked myself. I didn't think about that. I was hoping I'd get another rank 2. Now I've got too many rank 1s. I've got the opposite problem. I can't... Oh, no, I... No, 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 I can still put rank 1s on, on rank 2s. No, it's okay. Okay, we've not fucked ourselves. For a second, I thought I couldn't put any cards down. I can. That's fine. Uh, well, it's a little bit of a waste. It's a little bit of a waste. Yeah, uh, what if I... Do... That. I'm playing the shit out of that trumpet. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I really want to be able to put you out a bit further than that, bud. Levacron... Really does depend. Oh man, he's already, he's already trouncing me in the middle. He's trouncing me in the middle. Uh, let's think about this. I mean, do I just put this one down? Two, 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 two. So I feel like he's 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 won the middle one basically. 
There's not much we can do unless we power up something, but we can't really right now. So... Put the Levacron there to get six. You dick. You dick. That is such a good place to put a soldier. Oh, what an arse biscuit. We need to pray that we can win this bottom row now. Oh, balls. Balls. He's good. He is good. I'm screwed. I've, I, I have not done very well here. Uh... Yeah, there is very little we can do other than this. Please don't put anything on the bottom row. Put it on the top row. No, you bastard. Oh, God, he deleted my card. You sod. Oh, you sod. Okay, hang on. Is there anything better I can do here? I can make a rank two, though. Yeah, let's do that. He may have helped me there, actually. He may have helped me there. We can still... Oh, right. Do I put Titan down? Or do I put Quetzalcoatl? I think it's got to be Quetzalcoatl, just for the pure numbers. Because... Yeah. Although, no, t uh, Titan's five. Fuck it. Put Titan down here. Yeah. What's this card gonna be? Oh, you dick. Okay. But well, that's maybe fine. Um, I can put a... F oh, yeah, we've won. We've totally won. He kind of helped me there. Although I am tempted to play the Mandragora just to see what would happen with that. But it might be, might be too late. But that would only make us draw. So, nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, we'll go, we're going for... Going for wins, baby. Right, we did it. We did it, guys. Ooh. Yeah. Absolutely kicked his ass this time. This is a great game, honestly. It seems so in-depth already. We got the Chocobo and Moogle card. Race power for one of each, uh, for each other enhanced ally card. Cool. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. Yes. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Okay. I love that there's a little holder there for his sword as if that's just a natural thing that other Queen's Blood players will have. <laughs> it's hilarious. Right, so now we go back to the bartender, I suppose. Now, it says we got the card and a key item. So, I don't know. I'm guessing we can use that Chocobo Moogle card now. Or maybe not. No, we don't. We don't actually have it. So maybe we'll get get given it. Oh, let's just, let's just kill these guys. I want to get into a fight. I want to get into a fight. I love fighting. It's great. And um, Firebolt Blade. All three of them. Kind of. No time to waste. So bloody good. So good. Oh, can I make anything new, by the way? Uh I don't know if I have enough materials yet. I could make an enhanced wood sprite armlet for 5 XP. Uh, we might as well do that. We might as well do that. Okay. Still quite a ways off leveling up. Could make... Could make a talisman. Ooh, that'd be 40 XP. Ooh, and I make power wrist cards. Yes, do it. Do it. I've got all the materials. Nice! You can now make Mist High Potion and Bottle of Ether. I need this soundtrack right now. Oh, and the Windmill Gears. 
Oh, yeah, we need a... A, ke a Quetzal Kotl Talon. We must have to fight one. We must have to fight one somewhere. Hmm. Right. Let's go. Keep pressing the wrong button. Da, da, da. Let's just get this side quest finished. Okay, just fast travel. Yeah. When I'm when I'm doing side quest stuff, definitely gonna be doing a lot of fast travel just to make it quicker. But when I'm exploring, I'm not gonna do much. So, uh, all the way back to the bar. What was his name? Vash. You better appreciate this. You did it! You got my baby back. To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. I'm not surprised. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here, it's probably better off with you. <laughs> Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Uh-huh. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of it. Uh-huh. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. I knew it. Really, don't you think? Awesome. Drink up. Thanks. Yeah, you should try this Tifa. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you like it. That's so cool. You know, that was just what I needed. I knew you'd like it. Although apparently my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. Mm -hmm. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Oh. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. <laughs> Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh <laughs> Heaven bartender. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night. With bells on. Promise. That's so great. Boom. Cloud is now level 20. My relationship with Tifa changed. Everyone's level 20. Nice. That was so great. I love that they've added so much character to these side quests already. That was brilliant. Oh my god. Okay, so we're all level 20 now. Uh, so we have a bit more SP to spend. Not quite level 2 weapon for everyone else, but we are with... We're level 3 with Cloud. Sorry, we're level... Yeah, weapon level 2 with everyone else, but weapon level 3 with Cloud. Holy crap. Let's have a look. Sleek Saber. Ooh. Adds an additional weapon skill slot when we level up next. Yep, I was going to say, I'm sure we're going to get more of these. So what can I choose now? Weapon ATB Recovery. Replenish ATB Gauge by 5% when using a weapon ability. That is tempting. That is tempting. I mean, Magic Attack Power plus 20 is also nothing to be sniffed at. I don't use a lot of magic with Cloud, but that is quite tempting. Uh, but we'll try the weapon ability ATB recovery for now. I uh, wonder what we get on the Buster Sword. Uh, yeah, so we want to. We definitely want to get more weapon levels because we're going to get more slots. Uh, I'm also sure. I bet you can get more material slots as well. MP recovery rate up. Oh, that might be decent. I mean, I'm probably not going to use the Buster Sword for a little while. But it's definitely more of a magic sword. So, again, I like that the 
the every single weapon is probably going to be just as viable, but just for different things. Different play styles. Love it. Love it. Okay. Mithril Collar. I mean, we haven't really got any new stuff on this yet. But, uh, right. Awesome. Okay, what are we going to do next? We could, well, we could go spend that SP, I suppose, for Cloud at the Folio, but I think I'll wait till everyone else is caught up. Um, yeah. What do we want to do next? Do we want to go back out and see if we can grab a few towers, maybe... Well, there's, yeah, there's the, the maintenance warehouse here, which is near a tower and near another fiend thing, so I guess we'll go do those. And, uh, yeah, just do a little bit more exploring. Uh, oh! Why well, can choose to go on... Show okay! I'm guessing that'll just change what we arrive on. Like, we'll arrive on the chocobo or just walk in. We'll just walk. We'll just walk. Man, I really can't stress. I mean, so many people have already beaten this game, and I am still... Hi! Oh, we got we got it. We gotta give him another little pet. It's gonna take me so I'm gonna be still playing this game by Christmas, I swear. Yo. Right, there's a tower this way. Uh, do we want to be playing as Red and Aerith? Yeah, why not? There it is. get a bit more combat today. I know it's been very card heavy. It's not always going to be that case. I think we've, again, we've played everyone in this region now, so. But I probably will just replay them off screen because I really enjoy that card game. Right, Wasteland's Tower. Yeah, got some more critters over here. Oh, and another Levacron. Oh, crud. Oh god, I'm bound, I'm bound, guys. I'm bound. Ooh, stay away. Sons of bitches. Ow! Oh, I'm sucking. Right, just block. There we go. There we go. Vengeance mode, engage. Bosh. Nice. I do, I do love how every single character feels different. This this battle music, how every single battle music is like a variation of the world map theme that's currently playing in the... Oh, it's just so well done. Uh, set it on fire, I suppose. Screw it. Alright. Activate the tower. Wherever it is. Is there a button up top, or...? Yeah, it looks like it. You know what, actually? Let's, um... I'm thinking we we haven't had... Because at the moment we've had Barrett and Red, Barrett and Tifa, Aerith and Red. Let's do... Let's do Aerith and, uh, and Tifa together. Because... I like that. I think that'd be cool. Because they're both just such good friends, and I love I love Tifa's and Aerith. Aerith's uh, dynamic. Give that a go. Cloud and the ladies. This soundtrack is phenomenal. Here's the button. See what it reveals on the map as well. Love that little jingle it plays. Right, what do we got? Ooh, more fiend stuff. Ten data points. Also like that that plays like so good. 
Right, what have we got here? Is that another... Ooh, Divine Intel. So that's going to be for the summons. Right. Um, there's a Fiend thing over here. So this is Fiend Intel number six. Let's go check that out. Oh, and also quickly see if there's any boxes up here, because we want Moogle medals. Yes! So it seems like you always get a bunch of Moogle medals from these towers. Oh! Oh, we're near... Oh, hang on. We're near a life spring. We're near a life spring. Take me to the life spring. Life stream. Follow the owl. Oh, it's a bit of a trek. So I see all the just oh pollution. Woohoo! Are we in a cave? Yes, indeed, Red. Let us partake. And all of the goddamn materials in the world. Grab it all. I keep on forgetting there's mini games with these. Nice. Flora and Fauna of the Grasslands. A new region intel is now available. Ooh. Yeah, let's have a read of that. Let's have a read of that. Oh, Red's tail glowing in the darkness there. So good. Uh, intel. Regional intel. How do I check that again? Is it the map? Place of interest. I forget how you check the... Um, Not Chadley. Where is it? Is it, uh... Oh, Fiend Intel. I forget, actually. How do you check the regional intel? Completely forgotten. I'll have to do that off screen. I can't remember. It's been a while. Seeing it on the map. Uh, that's just your quest story. No. Anyway, I'll worry about that later. Once I figure that out, we'll, we'll probably have a read of that. I forget, because we did read one of them, and I just don't remember how to do it. Okay, that's that done, so let's go back towards the Fiend area. We might as well hop on the bows. Also, just see what's up here as well. Ah! This is taking us... Oh, yeah, we're near this thing. We might as well. We might as well do this thing. <laughs> Which is going to be a common thing in this. Um, yeah, and you just kick him with the chocobo. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the age of myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Oh... Okay, again, interweaving lots of lore stuff into this. Alright, so he's now he's going to be a little bit easier for us. Oh, I have to hop off the bow. Oh, yeah, and there's another... Yeah, I remember this minigame. Okay. Okay, going to mess this up a few times. Square, 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 square. Right. Commence. Oh, why did they fade away? Square, 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 square. Did I do it? Yes! In your face, Titan. You're gonna be a weak little bitch by the end of this game. Well, hopefully not too weak, because I want you to be on my team. Nice. Are we about halfway done with the... the intel of the region? That was perfect! Thanks to your hard work, I've obtained invaluable divine intel. Cool, cool, cool. 
Alright. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else in here to pick up. Anything behind it? No. Nice little uh, view, though. It's very, very bright. There are going to be any hidden chests over here. Doesn't look like it. Wee! Right, let's go do a fiend thing. This is probably a very dangerous way of getting down, but it works. Oh, some random boxes here as well. Moogle medals, Moogle medals. Okay, I'll take a potion. Would have liked Moogle medals though. Oh crap, it's triangle to pick stuff up, not X. <laughs> Just mashed cure on myself. Again, I probably won't summon the chocobo for every little thing that we're running into. Is it on the other side of this pipeline? Am I going to have to get over it somehow? Also, what's over here? That's the thing, we might discover areas of interest with, like, chests and things. What is that? Is, it, is that a mine or something? Say juiced? Juiced up? What's in here? What is in here? Oh. Oh. Grasslands port. Hey, there's materia over there. There's materia. Bunch of boxes as well, so maybe some Moogle medals. Or grenades. Ah, manifestation of the planet's blessing. That's what we need, I think, as well. Yes. Oh, hi. Oh, the memories. And we used to fish. What do we get? Item Master Materia? Does that mean items are more powerful when you use that? I th think so. Let's have a gander. Let's have a mooch. I'm really not stealing much right now. I think I might wait till I get a certain character to do more stealing. Um, D item Master. Increase item eff uh, efficacy by 30%. That's not bad. That's not bad. Might end up using that, don't know. Again, though, at the moment, we just don't have many mysterious slots. Hi, guys. Cool. I'm guessing we won't be able to just swim out through that cave. I mean, we can swim, but I'm guessing we won't be able to swim this far. I'm just curious. Let's just test it out. There's no way. There's no way. Be pretty awesome if you could. Nah. Can't swim any further. Look at us all. In red doing the doggy paddle. What a what a nice little uh cave we found. Alright. So, yeah, let's actually go and get this fiend thing done, because I did say we'd do that ages ago. <laughs> Let's ride on out of here. Oh, that is so bright when you get out in the sun. Here we go. Oh god, nearly ran into him. Rare grasslands won't bury it identified. Commencing guidance protocol. See the way that its mane stands on end? The electricity coursing through its body and keeping its hair upright is the product of overexposure to Mako. Oh. This has also contributed to a significant increase in aggression, agility, and speed. In fact, eyewitnesses report that it is capable 
of catching prey with lightning quickness. By studying this predator's hunting habits, perhaps we too will be able to develop swifter, more efficient ways of felling feeds. Now hurry and collect our data before that nimble wolf gets the best of you. I'll try my best. So it seems like a lot of these are just rarer versions of the regular enemies. I wonder if eventually there will be other types of enemies as well. Pressure an enemy, stagger, defeat all within the time limit. Right, let's go. Now, I wouldn't mind assessing these as well. Um, yeah, electric. Da, 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 da. Come at me, bro. Which one? No, come on. Come and hit me. That's it. Oh crap, we're healing it with the lightning of the firebolt blade. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was very, 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 very silly. That was very silly. Um, let's try a sonic boom. Get blown. Come at me, bro. I know you want to. I know you want to. Staggered. I love, I love that new attack. All right. Got a minute. We got a minute. But we need to pressure him, actually, don't we? Um. So yeah, let's try and assess it. Come on, Cloud. Oh, crud. Abilities assess. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Inflicting detrimental status effects on them will pressure them. Oh. Yeah, they do absorb lightning, I've, I've noticed that. Um, okay. So, I mean, I don't really have anything that can do that on them, I, I don't think. I mean, oh, we could poison. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, Red's not with him. Do I have anyone? Ah, I think Red's the one with poison. We could summon. Oh, should we just summon Shiva? Just to see her? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, so even getting close to that thing at the moment is hurting, which sucks. Summon abilities, icicle impact. Oh, which needs to be closer, apparently. Uh <laughs> Get rid of it in the time limit. We'll pre I can I can always pressure it later. Yeah. Whatever. We got two of them. Um, I did actually replay the last fight we did in the previous video and got all of those done. So. That was a very impressive battle just now. Uh, not really. Based on the battle data you provided. I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Ah! Oh, and I help too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Okay, we will. It's so weird seeing a female Chadley. That's so weird. Right, yeah, so I'll probably retry these off screen to get them done. But uh, I think we just need to cast some bio on them, probably. Alright. Oh, this, this is. I'm having the best time with this game. So, what do we want to do ne Well, to be fair, it's probably good enough for an episode. Um, at the moment, I'm not fully playing this game constantly yet. I need to finish up a few more projects, but um, I really hope you're enjoying these. And again, I will do face cam as often as I can. Uh, next time, we'll probably go check out this warehouse. We'll do a few more world intels, fiends, um, expedition, and maybe go progress the proto relic thing as well uh but yeah i uh love this game i love this game cheers for watching everyone take care bye bye for now